Good morning, everyone. I guess y'all wonder what in the world I'm doing up at this time of the morning. Oh, you probably don't know what time it is. Well, actually, it's about 4 o'clock in the morning. But I've been up since like 2 o'clock in the morning. And I am cooking what I was supposed to have cooked yesterday. I don't know if you could see this. I always start, stop at the, uh, that is a pie. I mean, a, <laughs> uh, the uh, pie crust is inside of the casserole dish because I don't have a pie pan. I forgot to buy me some pie pans. I was going to make the uh, little chicken pot pies. But anyway, I'm just going to make one deep dish. Coriander, Coriander, what's that lady name? Type pot pie. And I've got my the filling in here. Cook, oh boy, I might have overcooked it, y'all. I don't know. While I'm messing around. Oh, shooky, shooky, yeah, sticky. Oh boy, let's turn this off real right quick. Ah, I may have to put a little bit more liquid. I'm not sure. Anyway, this is the filling for the chicken pot pie. And what I was trying to do is get these carrots. I know what I'm going to do the next time. I'm going to... Uh, I call myself sautéing the carrots. And I call myself... I think that it might be get done. The rest of it might get done in the oven. And that's what I'm doing, y'all. I'm up here at this time of the morning making all this mess. And what I did, let me let me just put the saucepan, put this pan right back on top of here so that I thought I saw a gnat in here this morning. Believe it or not, I still see a gnat flying around in here every now and then. And as you can see, my kitchen is falling apart. Everything is happening. I am trying to figure out which one's... I, Let's see. Is that the original flavor? Yeah, I think that's the original flavor. And this is the one that's got... Uh, less, I don't know, no MSG or something. I don't know. But anyway, I don't like that one that well. I like this one. And I was going to put this in my chicken pot pie. But then I said, no. I said, I got the Trinity in there. And that's enough. So, um... Put that back in the cabinet. And this is the rest of my uh, pie crust. I got it over here. I got this cover on here because, like I said, there's a pie. I, I should have had the cover on top of this, too, but I don't know what I was thinking. And so, anyway, I got this on, the, the cover on there. I guess I could stick that under there, but I'm hoping I'm getting ready to fill this pie up. And I got to get all this junk off the table. As we know, Thanksgiving is here shortly. It is a punish, y'all. Like I sold on the floor where I had bought when I went shopping yesterday. I think that's two ginger ale, one grape, and one Fanta. And my daughter's going to buy some stuff for the uh, children. And the only thing I have to make now, well, I'm not making this chicken pot pie uh, for any, you know, Thanksgiving. <laughs> I'm making this chick pot pie for a few minutes as soon as it gets done. And what I used was, let me tell you what I used. I chopped up sauteed onion. You know, it's no specific amount that you need. Uh, just get you the onion, oniony taste to your taste, which me, I think I put maybe a little less than a half of a uh, sort of medium, a small to medium onion. And um, I chopped up one carrot, but I didn't put the whole carrot in there. And um, how much celery? I think I put one stalk of celery. And I call myself sauteing that, but as you can see, the, the, the carrots are not, you know, soft yet. And so I'm letting it sit there for a minute. I turned the stove off because, you know, it was starting to stick. And I'm just going to let it sit there in the pan for a minute before I put, you know, put it in, actually put it in the shell. And what else? Uh, cream of chicken uh, soup. 
And I boiled the chicken breast. I have a chicken breast that I, you know, I didn't even use the whole chicken breast, y'all. I used maybe half of it because I didn't want the chicken, you know, too chickeny in there. And so I used a half of that chicken breast. And, um, you know, I sort of sliced it up, chopped it up, and did the best I could to it. But it ended up looking shredded, you know, a little bit. But, you know, I just chopped it. Chop, chop, chopped it up. And salt and pepper. That's it, y'all. And then when I get ready to do the crust, I got some butter I'm going to smear on top of the truss, crust when I get ready to put it in the oven. And then I'm going to bake it in the oven for about mm, 35, 40 minutes. Maybe 30 minutes until the crust get nice and brown. I want it nice and brown on the bottom. And I don't care about the crust being a little thick. <sighs> Long as it's done, y'all. I can't wait. I am so hungry, believe it or not. I went to bed. What happened was I went shopping. My granddaughter took me shopping yesterday. I got my sweet potatoes for the sweet potato pie. I got everything that I need, you know, to cook. I got my pork shoulder. I got my potatoes for potato salad. Everybody's cooking, you know, something. But the part that I'm supposed to be cooking, I did the collard greens. I blanched the collard greens already. And... You know, we went out shopping, and, and matter of fact, my my leg is hurting me now. You know, like this morning, when I first got up, it feels better now, though, you know, because I had to walk. <laughs> I don't usually have to walk, because I, oh, shoot, that left eye. I usually have my scooter with me when I'm shopping, you know, especially locally, right around in my hood. And so yesterday, I had to walk, because we went to several stores, and I, w I had some stuff to take back to Walmart, but I didn't ended up didn't even take that back to Walmart because my granddaughter was pressed for time. She had to go home because her son got, had gotten out of school. And uh, so we went to two stores. But I think what happened and how we ended up staying in that one store. And guess what, y'all? I had went to the store myself earlier that morning. I drove to my local stop and shop. And I picked up some collard greens. I, I should have made a video about that because that was early yesterday morning. I was cold. But being that I was on my scooter, believe me, I was dressed to the nine. I was not to the nine, but I was dressed to a T. All the way down to the bone, I couldn't feel nothing. I believe me, as cold as it was, I think the temperature was like 20, in the 20s or early 30s when I left the house around 9 o'clock in the morning uh, yesterday. And it was cold, you already know. And I put on my leggings and I put my jeans on top of my leggings, so there's two pairs of pants. I had on a t-shirt, I put on my uh, sweater. And then on top of my sweater, I had on my, uh, some people call it a buffalo print um, uh, a shirt, you know, uh, flannel, not flannel, it was more like wool. And uh, I had that from last year. And put that on, so that's three layers right there, y'all. And then I put my jacket on top of that. I had on my skull cap. Pulled down on my ears. I had on my gloves, but my gloves were leather. Hello. Let me tell you something, y'all. Don't mess around with too much leather when it's cold because you know you're going to freeze. But I ended up buying... Oh, yeah. Some of these because I couldn't find my little wool, wool gloves. But I had bought these, and these were, I, they used to be a dollar. Remember them days, y'all, when they used to be a dollar? Well, they are no longer a dollar. They are now two dollars and some change. So, but I paid for them because it was worth it. Them leather gloves weren't kicking in, and I was on my way back home. But you know what? It was warmer when I was on my way back. And so it, it wasn't as bad as it was when I was going because, well, well, you know, the for the wind, it went uh, on one side, one side over here felt like on my face that sort of got cold. 
then I put my hood on it. That took care of that. Otherwise, of course, my body is not cold. And I'm not cold. And I was going to put a a blanket across my leg. I said, nah, I don't need no blanket because I had on the two pair of pants. And then I had on my boots and my wool socks. One, you know, one pair of socks only. The old girl wouldn't go. As a matter of fact, the old girl felt good to get out of the house because the old girl had been shut in for a while. And so when I came back home, I had to, well, I didn't uh, do the collard greens right away because same day, you know, which is yesterday, my, do my granddaughter takes me shopping also. And so, you know, I was sort of pushing things yesterday. But, you know, when you get a ride, you got to go. Let's go. I had taken my clothes off when I came home from the morning. And she came over, I think, about 1230. I had to put my clothes, matter of fact, I was yapping on the telephone. And I forgot, you know, she had called me and let me know that she was going to be coming uh, by about 12.30. But I'm sitting here yakking on the phone. I ain't thinking about the time. Yakking, 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 yak on the phone. And uh, doorbell ring. It's her. She said, you're not going? I said, yeah, I'm going. I said, I just got to put my clothes, you know, back on. <laughs> Which I don't usually have people waiting for me. But it didn't take me long to put my clothes back on. And so we went to two stores. We went to shop right and stop and shop. Because I just had to pick up a few other things that I didn't pick up when I went to the store that morning. Like I had to get my vanilla. And then I leave, I leave the house. What happened was when I get, when we got ready to leave, I said, oh, shoot. I said, let me go back in here and take me a Tylenol because I got to walk around. You know, I knew my back was going to, you know, kick in, you know, that thing. And then I get get on, on the car and get halfway there. I said, you know what, Tara? I said, I forgot my list. I said, but I think I can remember what was on that list. And lo and behold, I did. I remembered what was on that list that I needed to get. You know, even though I had had a list that morning and some of that list I had to check off, then checked off because I picked it up while I was out that morning. But I knew I had to get the pork shoulder because at this store, they didn't have the pork shoulder to make the chopped barbecue. Oh, wow, what a day, y'all. So you know what the day's got to be. It's my day of rest. I'm going to have two days to rest, do nothing at all, unless, you know, just cook and just take care of myself for the day, prop up. Get my hair washed, get my shower done, and, uh, matter of fact, I'll probably do that. Unless I get sleepy again right away. I'll do that, you know, once the sun comes up. That's what I've been up to, y'all. It's been all good, and it's been all grand, because my spirits was up very high. Very high. I was, like, hyped. I was, it was almost like I was on overdrive. I was ready. For whatever, let's do it is, you know. Because remember, I wasn't going to cook, but everybody have decided to, to help me out. You know, I don't have to do all this stuff. But I am going to make, I think, uh, six to eight sweet potato pies. I already got that. I got that. To, that got to cut the crust. I got my pot, my uh, sweet potatoes right there. I got them warm, keeping them warm. Because if you don't keep them warm, you know, sometimes they'll get cold hurt. Because my apartment gets kind of cold, you know, especially at night. And the heat goes, I don't know. The heat act like it's, when it gets cold, the heat act like it's scared to come on. Like it's, you know, it, it's got feelings. It, it's cold, too. <laughs> it's got a mind of its own, y'all. But anyway, let me cut out the, the cylinders. I'm getting ready to uh, put this pie together and bake it. And I probably will be eating around 5 a.m. Bon appétit. I go with love. <laughs>